Spank. 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 Gotta watch out for Yasu. Spank. Spank. But yeah, there you go. Shine Baker Garen, how about that? I love it. Welcome back to another Shine Breaker series. This time we're going to be trying out Garen with uh, the same runes I used for Bull Light Bear and the build as well. So we're going to have some fun with this and see see what Garen can bring to the table with the Shine Breaker play style. We're up against uh, Trendamere. So this will be a challenge because Trendamere is also a great split pusher. So we're going to have to try to outdo them. So what we want to do is we want the uh, the Q and E. Oh, my bad. I'm speaking volley bear. The Q combo with the grabs when it comes to Garen. So you get that burst damage combo. Bank him with the, the Q there, back up, and then now what we're going to do is we're going to punish him. We're going to make sure he doesn't take any farm. If he can't heal, his little red meter allows him to heal a great amount. Could ignite him, but I don't want to. I want to keep him so that way I can keep on farming. Yeah, watch out for the jungler. But there's not much Trenomere can do, he's low. So even if the jungler did come, he's not going to be able to do anything. And I have Ghost, I have Nimbus Cloak, so I should be able to get away if I need to. Right, I'm gonna drop a wood. Pretty sure he's at the crab. Um, Elise is a little late on clearing. So we're gonna have to back off here. The wave's in a good spot. We dive top. Easy. Might be an old message, but okay. Uh, he might be ganking mid, yeah. Uh, can't quite reach him, that's okay. Got my ghost, get out of there, ignite him. Taking a little too much damage. So I got his flash. So I'm just going to let her kill him. Should be able to. She flashed in. Got him. Alright. So Trenomir probably has teleport. So I'm gonna, going to expect that at some point. I thought he would teleport. Guess not. Mm. I really want him to... I don't know. Yeah, I guess they... I really want tire mats since I have a lot of gold. Usually when you have this much gold, you want to rush uh, Titanic. With this uh, play style. Alright. He did not teleport, so unfortunate. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get a tire map. Now Garen can 
wave clear very well with his uh, E judgment uh, spin. So the combination of auto attacks with Tiamat and his E spin is going to be great. Uh-oh. Alright, so that's free dragon for them. I'm just gonna tell them, tell my team to probably give that up. Yeah, I would, uh, don't die for it. <laughs> we'll get the next one. So off to our bad start here. Giving up the dragon, hopefully uh, we can get the rip. Oh, I made it through his alt somehow. He just didn't press it, I guess. All right, so we know and we know he has teleport, so we got to be careful here. All right, I'm gonna try to get one plate. There we go. Back off. Yep, there's the teleport right there. See it right there in the bush. Should be able to get out of here. I think he still has alt, so I'm surprised he didn't dive me there. I'm gonna try to bait. Got a jungler on our side. Not going in. She could have right there. Ignite him. Ugh, I'm taking too much damage. Come on, help me. All right, good job. I, I don't know what happened. She could have helped me. <laughs> nah, bro, I don't think so. I, I don't think I could help. Didn't want to show. Okay, no problem. Never forget why we fight. All right, so we got a giant spell, so we're a little bit tanky. Nimbus. And Ghost combination with the Q, it's really good. It gives you a quick boost of uh, speed. And then, you know, you can use your E to spin right through them, stick into them. And when we get Frostfire, it's going to be even easier. All right. We're going to keep chasing this guy, punish him, try to get him to waste his ult. Probably didn't have it. I don't think he has it. Hey, right, I'm gonna try to get some plates. There's not much he can do. So let's just punish him. That's all right, I'm just gonna keep on farming. There's not much he can do at this point. Oh, he's the jungler. Got a Gotta go back. Alright, so... I don't see mid. So that means they're gonna do the rift. I gotta try to stop him. Because I really want the rift. That's gonna... Oh, there, there's mid. Now he's gone. They're definitely doing it. I don't have a ward. Oh, crap. I got caught. Uh, too much slow on me. I can't. I'm trying to get around to the this over here to pop this over, but it's too much slow on me. Unfortunate. And nobody wants to get the rift. I mean, you let the first dragon go and then the rift. That's kind of bad, you know. We're in a terrible spot, so I gotta figure out what to do. Cause plan A with this play style is ruined. 
So the second whiff is all we have. So we got to make sure we get the second whiff. It's usually what I like to do with the first whiff. Um, destroy my tower, get the first whiff, go bot, get the place off of that. And at that point you have a ton of gold. And then the second whiff, I drive that down top while they do the dragon. That's usually how I do it with this playstyle. Um, since we can't do that, we're just going to have to keep doing what we're doing. Break the first tower. And I guess in this situation, since we don't have the first whiff, we're going to have to go bot after I break my tower. And break that first tower down there. And then... Try to get to second rear. Okay, so he's his all's down. No problem. I can get some more tower plates. Dragons up. I got my ghost coming up, so I'm gonna dive him actually. But I'm pretty sure he has his flash, so but either way we're gonna try. Here we go. Yeah, there's a flash. Alright, that's okay. We should be able to get this tower. And it's right about the time that I like to get it. Level 8, 9. So we're on track. Great. I'm going to shove this wave so I can go bot. Alright, so we got a lot of gold. Should be able to get the uh, Titanic. That's going to help us deal a lot of damage to uh, the towers. So we're going to go bot and try to get some more uh, gold off the plates. And start working on Frostfire. Do we have a boost of uh, Swiftness? Going to increase our speed with the Q and Nimbus uh, Cloak with Ghost combination. We should be able to take all of this. Unfortunately, we, we didn't make it in time for the place. Alright, we got him. Got the tower. That's all that matters. Push this wave. And then go back. I'm going to go back top. And wait for the second rift. Hopefully we can get that. We fight for those who cannot. So Titanic is going to get stronger over the course of the game the more, the more health we have. So once we get Hallbreaker we're going to deal massive damage to towers with Demolish. And with Garen's Q, he does look quite a bit to the towers, and that's that's the plan. Got ignite on him. I don't have my ult, so unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention there. That's all right. We don't care about killing him right now. 
Um, because I'm focused on trying to get the rift. The second rift. Alright, everybody's here. Uh, allow the passive to heal, which gets stronger over the course of the game, by the way. So the heal is going to be greater later, so it's going to allow us to regenerate all that damage that we took. Alright, let's get to wait. Alright, as soon as they go mid, I'm just going to keep, I'm going to shove this all the way down to the second tower, top lane. Alright, so they're all mid, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to push. Boy. Uh oh. Okay, I see Trundamir bot. So that's okay. I'm just gonna keep on pushing this, pressuring this lane, punish him a bit. See, like I said, Trundamir is an incredible split pusher, so it's hard to compete against him. But we're gonna try our best. And I'm working with the objective timers. That's what I'm doing. As long as I'm following the time frame of where I need to be. I'm fine. Oh, ghost out of here. Use the Nimbus. Oh, Flash. Uh, it's pretty... It's hard to get away from him. Yeah. He got me. <laughs> Alright. That's okay. Good enough. We got the tower top. So we're good there. Alright, so we're working on Frostfire. We got the second rift. We really need that. If we lose that, then plan B is ruined. So I have to, I have to fall to plan C, actually. So I never really thought of plan C, but we'll think about it. We will create plan C in this, in this uh, game. So I'm trying to think, what am I going to do for plan C? So we lost the second rift. I right, should be able to kill him, I got ignite. Ooh, got my ult. Bam. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to shove this wave, and at this point, Baron's going to spawn at 20 minutes. So I really don't want to be here. I want to be bot. I want to pressure bot so that they come for me. And that's going to open the door for my team to do Baron. And that's going to give me the buff in order to split all the way down. And hopefully we can get the uh, the gate open and get the super minions. Because we need the super minions in order to reach the, uh, the Nexus Towers. I'm trying to tell my team to force Baron soon. I'm going to see if I can help my team here. We back off a little bit, taking damage, let the passive do its work. I guess second went too, which is a really good combination of healing with the passive. Um, sorry, regeneration. Uh, I'm gonna get out of there as Yasuo in front of me. I don't want any of that. I'm too low. Alright, so I'm just gonna push this all the way down. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna push this. I'm gonna heal up with my passive. I don't know. I'm, I'm really liking this. Uh, Shinebreaker Garen. His passive gives him great sustain. I mean, he can stay in lane for a very long time. Get the gold he needs for, you know, his items. I dig this. There's nothing better than Volai, though. Volai has the ability with his ult to crush those towers. Garen doesn't. He has his Q, but that's about it. Volai, he can 
he can crush both towers while Garen has to crush one at a time. But it's still going to be good, especially with his Q. All right, Yasu's top, so I'm going to ask somebody to go there, hopefully push that, because I don't, I don't care about top right now. I want them to force Baron. You got to stop fighting there. All right, Jinx is here. I should be able to kill her. I got Ghost. All right, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to shove the wave. I actually want to keep Jinx around. I don't want her to go to Baron. Alright. With that. I'm pretty sure they're coming for me right now. Maybe. I'm gonna dive here. Got Ignite. Oh. Easy. Titanic. Should be able to get this tower. Alright, this is the perfect time to get Baron, actually. So I'm just gonna stay here, create pressure. Alright, I'm gonna tell my team. Right. So they'll be focused on me. They're not gonna go to Baron. Pretty sure. Alright, so we got Bram. We got Trenomir. I'm just going to try to keep them here. All right, good. So we got the buff. Um, I got a lot of gold. Should be able to get Hallbreaker by now. So this is the perfect time to have this item. All right, so I guess this is plan C. So basically, if you don't have the rifts, you just got to make sure that you have those towers down bot lane during the time of Baron. So that's plan C. Um, the rifts just get it done early for you so that it, you know, guarantees that you have enough gold to get the items you need to uh, continue to split push and I'm going to tell my team just push, don't get caught. Use the buff. Alright. Wait for them to split. Uh, one of them got caught. Alright, doesn't matter. I'm just going to keep going. I got the Baron buff. Should be able to take this all the way. Brand can wood hop now. Guess so. Right, got this tower. Should be able to get this Nexus. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to come back for me. I have a feeling it's Yasuo. I don't see him there. Yeah, there he is. Should be able to take him. I have Hallbreaker. I'm very tanky. I right, back him off. Right, yeah. yeah, I got him. Right here. There we go. Wham. I think he ignited me. The hard thing about the Baron, the super minions, is that they're so far away from the tower, so I still keep dam taking damage. Alright, I'm just gonna back off. Let the wave go in there first. Uh, Tronomir's here. Alright, I'm just gonna push mid and try to take the mid tower and the inhibitor with my team here. All right, ignite, bang. <laughs> All right, good enough, we'll back off. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell my team to... Whoa. All right, back off. 
I'm going to tell my team to all group top and pressure all the way down while I pressure bot. And I should be able to backdoor very easily while they're focused on trying to protect top. So that's what I'm telling them. Let them know that I got Hallbreaker. Alright, so like my last two items, um, what I'm testing is I'm going with uh, the uh, Ghost Blade because it gives the active during the movement speed. It's really good with Garen's E, just to glide right through them. Um, especially good against uh, Squishies, you know. Um, and um, the other item, I can't pronounce it, um, but it's that armor penetration item. What it does is it slows with Garen's E, like perma slow. So you always have that ability to slow between like Frostfire and that item. So that's pretty much how I'm testing out with this Garen Shinebreaker playstyle. Um, Dead Man's is also a good choice. You can go Force of Nature. Um, yeah. In my guide, I have, you know, different, you know, swappable items that you can use. Oh no, I'm stuck here. There's really no way to get away from Bram. Uh, I have no ghost either. I'm screwed. That's okay, all I can do is buy time for my team. My W! <laughs> uh, that's my bad. Three on me. Should be able to get that inhibitor. Um, that's probably it. Yeah. Alright, that's... Wait, they didn't get the inhibitor. No way. Alright, Baron's coming soon, so I should be, I should easily be able to backdoor, so if they force Baron again, I'll, I'll easily backdoor, get the dragon, I'm gonna go bot, use the super minions, there's no tower, so I'm just gonna get the nexus. Oh, okay, they got it. Alright. Just gonna wood this. Got my ghost coming up. I got everything. I got my ignite, ghost. I'm ready to fight. Uh, I'm gonna hang back here. I'm just gonna wait for everybody to go to Baron. I don't want to get caught with uh, Bram. He really slows you down. Um, so I'm just going to wait for him to leave. So there's two here. There's Yasuo. They should be able to kill Trendamir. Because he doesn't have any help. Oh yeah. This is great. Alright, so everybody's going there. I'm going to be able to get this Nexus. I'm just going to skip. I'm just going to go get it. Up oh, here's my amp. There's not much he can do. I'm tanky. Should be able to get this. No problem. Spank. 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 Got to watch out for Yasu. Spank. Spank. So yeah, there you go. Shine Baker Garen. How about that? I love it. This is great. So whenever Volai is banned, whenever I can't play my main champion, this is what I'm going to play. I'm going to play Shinebreaker again. I'm going to take all your towers. I'm going to punish you for banning my champion. There you have it. Yep. Good job, guys. All right, so we'll look at the uh, graphs here. Um, yeah. So overall, not too bad. You know, Trenomir is a very difficult 
um, champion to try to out split push. And even though I had like plan A and B ruined, you know, I created plan C and stuck to the objective time of where I needed to be. And that's all I had to do. So, you know, here's the damage, not too bad. What the most important thing is tower damage. That's what you want to look at. So, and objectives, so didn't get the rift, so it's not as high. Um, so yeah, tower damage, most important thing. And here's the runes. So you got a lot of damage on demolish. And decent healing on second win. Combination with the passive is really good. Um, Nimbus, ghost combination with Q is really good. So yeah, I love it. This is great. You guys should try it. It's a lot of fun.